Hello, each and every one of you out there watching. I hope you're having an awesome, stellar day. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make French onion soup. Let me tell you how easy French onion soup is. Onion, beef broth, bacon. That's really it. That's all you need to make a really good French onion soup. Also some baguette and uh, some cheese to melt over top, but we'll get into that after. Right now I'm going to teach you the basics on how to make French onion soup. Are you ready? See, these are the basic ingredients that you would need to make French onion soup. I like to make my French onion soup with a red onion. Uh, I should have two, but I only have one and the grocery store is closed today because it's Labor Day. So that's all I have. And now you're going to need some oil to saute the onions in and then some salt. And I like to put a little bit of hot sauce in mine. Um, but that's completely up to you. You're also going to need a baguette, sprouted grains. It's fresh. It's so good. Um, and yeah, and that's about it. A cup and some cheese. But I'll show you the, the bread, what we're going to do with the bread and the cup and the cheese as soon as we're done making our French onion soup. So the first thing we need to do is, you're probably wondering what this is here for. This is here because what we're going to do is we're going to stick the bacon in the oven on top of this grill here so that all the grease bakes down and we're going to have some nice, like really good bacon. So we're going to heat the oven to 400. So this is what we're going to do with the bacon. Like I said, we're just going to lay it across here, just like this. And then we're going to put it in the oven. We set our timer for 10 minutes. And then we'll continue to watch it after that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to heat up some of our extra virgin olive oil. Um, this is the Olive Plus. It's the one I like to use. It's basil. It's got um, canola oil, extra virgin olive oil, and sunflower. So yeah, I really like it. And we're just going to heat that up so that we can saute the onions. Look at that. Oh my god, how good does that look? Listen to it. Oh yeah, baby. And the great thing about cooking it like this is you don't have to turn it. So here's our onion. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this side off here. Cut that side off there. I'm thinking that my, uh, my knife might need to be sharpened. <laughs> And we're going to take the skin off the outside, just like that. One. And two. See how easy that was? Now, with onion, French onion soup, you don't want to cut this too small. So what I like to do is, I like to give it just one good cut in the middle, and then... That's it for me. Because you want nice pieces of the onion in there. You don't want to dice it up. Woo! Come on now. There we go. And now one more. And now we're just going to break it apart. And when it's in there, when you're turning it around, it's going to break up as well. So you don't have to worry about that. And now, I'm just going to add it to our 
pot there. And we want to wait for these to get um, a little bit clear, not too clear because they're going to continue to cook in the beef broth. So we have to be pretty careful about that. We don't want them to be too soft. We do want them to be soft, but not mushy. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. And some salt. We're going to give them a stir, just like that. How good does that look? You see how they're getting a little bit clear? That's exactly the texture we want them to be for that. And now, we're going to add our beef broth. more beef broth over here we're going to use as well. And we're going to let that come to a boil. Now the timer on our bacon is almost finished, so I'm gonna take, we're gonna take a look. It's not quite ready, but it is close, so we're gonna put it in for another five minutes and just keep an eye on it. You want it to be crisp. hot sauce for flavor. I don't like to add it to be hot. Oh, this is so good looking. I can't believe I just said a soup was good looking. <laughs> okay, our bacon should be ready. Ta-da! And now we just gotta let it cool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do with this bacon is... scissors and we are going to cut bacon bits. They don't all have to be the same size obviously it's bacon bits so they can be big ones, small ones, completely up to you, whatever taste you like. You could always put the bit full bacon in by itself too. I don't see why that would be um, an issue, but yeah. Oh, 
Oh no! Now, we're gonna use some paper towel here and we're just gonna blot in to get some of the grease out because we don't want them all like sticking together all like gross and stuff in here when we're ready to use them. Put a little cover on them and put them in the fridge until they're ready to make. So a really important part of making French onion soup, just like everything else I make, I realize that everything takes time, but it's worth it. Now we have to wait for the, um, for the onions to soften up a bit because they are a bit crunchy, mm, but still delicious. So usually I put it on like low medium for like an hour or two. And then, uh, yeah. Oh my God, it looks so, so yummy. Mmm. Okay, so now we have our bread. We have our cup. And what we're gonna do is, cut the end off here. And then we're gonna cut two pieces. We're gonna try to keep them almost the same. There we go. And we're gonna put them in the bottom of our cup, just like that. Amazing. Now this is something special. <clears throat> you can make French onion soup with whatever kind of cheese you like to put on there. I like using Havarti because it's nice and sweet. But this Havarti is going to be a bit spicy because it's um, jalapeno. Now what I like to do is, we're gonna use two slices of this. I like to put one right in there. top just like that and now remember that bacon that we made pieces of bacon in there like that and then we're gonna turn the oven on on broil and we are gonna put our second piece of Havarti in there just like that We're gonna put it in the oven right there and we're gonna let that melt. Okay, now you have to watch, this is very hot. So, yeah. Ta-da! Like I said, a few more pieces of bacon, bacon bits in there. 
and we are all set with our French onion soup. Okay, so here we have it. Ta da! French onion soup. Let's see? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Mmm. So, so good. See how easy French onion soup is to make? It's that easy. So, coming up, um, I have a couple of cookbooks that I want to get into, and I thought that maybe I would start trying the recipes in there, especially the ones that are like, oh, it's so easy and see if they really are just as easy as they say. I have a whole bunch of cookbooks and I'm gonna go through them and I'm gonna make some stuff and I hope you like it. Uh, <laughs> that's about it for today. As with every single other video that I have ever done on YouTube, there are three things that you can do at the end of each and every single one. Number one, comment down below. Join the conversation. Tell me how you make your French onion soup. Number two, share this with your friends, family, and coworkers. And a couple people that maybe need to learn how to cook a little bit because this is super easy anyone out there who's like i don't know how to cook no that's not true you know how to cook i promise i'll teach you and number three if you haven't already please 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will catch each and every one of you on the flip side bye